number one Iron Age booty daddy. Welcome back to the weekly update that I've been doing for the last little bit. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you guys are enjoying this particular video, I need everybody out there to share it. The last one, because I'm starting to figure out putting Iron Age in the title of stuff, is telling YouTube that I'm trying to do history stuff but my audience is interested in indie creator stuff, so the last one kinda got nuked. But, ladies and gentlemen, if you are here, I hope that you enjoy what I'm doing, and click that share button. And if you would also do me a favor and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. And without any further ado, it's time to get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, what has been going on in the last week? Well, in the last week, there's not a whole lot of updates. There are some new projects that are coming to a close this week. However, I am gonna start off in the one place that I really love to start off with is this last Friday right here on this channel, we did Iron Age Nights number 48 with Jared Christman. This is a guy who spent years in the music industry. He actually ended up being featured on MTV's Headbangers Ball back in the day. And on top of that is now doing an independent Western film. That's right, Missouri Breaks. Ballad of Missouri Bill. This looks like an absolutely fantastic movie. In addition to that, he's also doing soundtrack for the movie as well, being that he's a musician, and he's also got some books on the way. So if you guys haven't checked out Iron Age Nights number 48, I would absolutely love it if you guys would do so. What else is going on? Also, I don't want people to forget, this is carryover news from last week, and everybody should know the Indie Comics Creator Con, a show for fans of indie comics, uh, is crowdfunding right now over on Kickstarter. That's going to be going on March 9th, 2024 uh, in New Haven, Connecticut. So if you guys are interested, the links for all of that is down below. Uh, they also have a creator sign up as well, but I would strongly urge you to go over to the Kickstarter and back that project over there. Again, the links are in the description below. It looks like they're at $3,700 out of $5,000. And I'm assuming that's just going to help them pay for the event, pay for the people who are going to uh, be helping with the event and so on and so forth, if it even gets that far. But this is a this is a creator con for everybody out there for indie comics and for people who love what's going on in the indie space right now. So make sure you get out there and support this because it could be another place for everyone to gather around their new favorite stories. Moving on, let's get into what's going on with the reviewers this week. The two reviewers that I pretty much always cover this week are Iron Age Dot Media and Periopsis Press over on Iron Age Dot Media. His prompts are still live, and if you guys are a writer and want to go and test your chops and get your stories out there, I strongly recommend you go over to the Iron Age Dot Media. Uh, website and go to his prompts page you can submit your own stories he's got some criteria there for how to do that and he usually uh, again you he gives you a prompt that you have to build a story off of and it gives you a chance to test your writing prowess as well as get out in front of some new fans out there now katie from periopsis press over here she has not un done a new review yet but i do know that one is coming so we'll just shout out the one that she did last week was a twisting every way and i do hope that all of you get a chance to go check out periopsis press if you have not checked out uh periopsis press yet you guys need to go do that because she does some of the best reviews out there bar none her long form reviews of the books are absolutely fantastic and the other thing is too Katie kind of has a rule. If she doesn't like the book, she doesn't review the book. So you know, already going into it, you're reading a review from a person who actually liked what they read and you could potentially like as well. She loves reviewing sci-fi and fantasy. And so if those are up your alley, go check out Katie Room. Moving on to what's closing this week. We've got a few projects that I pulled up from Twitter this week. I'm very glad. Some of them have kind of already ended, ended but they are entering the on-demand uh, time period now. So that's really freaking awesome. But the first one that we're going to cover over here is Vigilante's Creed. It's uh, two novels and a mini comic uh, by Brent Turner. He did get funded. Fantastic, man. I'm so glad he got funded. But there's 33 hours left for him to continue to push 
even further and uh, try to provide you guys with even more. So go over and check out the Indiegogo for Vigilante's Creed by B.A. Turner. I do hope that you guys enjoy that story. We had him on the show. He's absolutely fantastic interview. So make sure you guys go and check that out. Next up, going into the on-demand phase, is Bronze Star by Mike Barron. Um, and, I, well, Mike Barron and Patrick Broderick. Boy, I can't forget to say that. Um, this is a Western that was made by Mike Barron, the guy who is most well-known for his Punisher run. And he's out there doing some absolutely fantastic things over on Fund My Comic. Uh, com. Now, uh, Mike, obviously him having his beliefs that he has, boy, howdy, does Indiegogo and Kickstarter get mad at him and like to take his money from him? But Fund My Comic is a little bit different. They don't do that. So Mike is now posting all of his crowdfunders over on Fund My Comic. So hopefully you guys are able to go and check this out as it is in its demand phase. Next up, we've got Lumina Vox 1 and 2. The second chance of getting those. Those are going into the on-demand phase as well. I really, really, really love that Fun My Comic is offering these services as such a young website to these creators. In addition to that, I actually just got done with checking out another book this last week that was by Ho that Jose Garcia, who created Lumina Vox, did. And he was actually the artist. I believe, if I'm not getting it wrong, I believe this is the Jose Garcia who was the artist for Crimson Wren by Clownfish TV. So yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. If you are unaware, this is the guy who did the absolutely fantastic artwork for Crimson Wren. I freaking loved that book. I love the artwork. It was solid all the way through. And I do hope that you guys are able to go and give this creator a chance. Again, his, his artwork looks completely and utterly Fantastic. Moving on to the uh, what happened last week. Well, last week on my uh, <laughs> comic shop Wednesday live stream is where I bring my supporters on. We go through a bunch of projects and we vote on the four that we think strike us the most. And the four that struck us the most last week were the complete waifu handbook funding on kickstarter.com. And boy, howdy, are people excited for this thing. Uh, and I'm going to be honest with you, the trailers are absolutely fantastic. We checked them out over on the Comic Shop Wednesday from last week. So if you guys are here, uh, go to my live streams. All of my Comic Shop Wednesday stuff will be there for the members of the channel as well. So even when it gets pulled down, you guys can still go check it out, see our reaction to this. Uh, although this is not necessarily my style of project that I think that I would want to back. There are a lot of people excited for it. And uh, you can see the passion behind it and you can see how hard they're working to bring this to reality next up we have whispers of a world breaker uh by Corey ratliff this was an interesting story uh about a young man who's gonna make a dragon friend this sounds absolutely fantastic i love the way that the storytelling is going here we read the first page it looks really really good everyone and honestly as a new fantasy story out there i think that for all the fantasy readers out there who are looking for something a little fun go and give Corey ratliff a look scooching back over to fun my comic this is joshua plaque raiden radio with new orleans listen this is the noir style comic that is the sequel to his first one that he is releasing he did get funded fantastic but he's got 16 days left to go and obviously we checked this out and we had an absolute blast the trailer looked solid the artwork looks fantastic and i think one of my uh, uh supporters already went on and backed this project while we were live so if that tells you the excitement of uh the people in in this space like you've got to go and check this out again if you're into noir style comics definitely 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 want to give raiden radio a check and the last one but certainly the most not least one. For the second week in a row, it was chosen yet again by a totally different person. 
This is Battle Brick Road by Eric Weathers. This is a take on the Wizard of Oz, uh, but it's going to be a little bit more action packed. It's uh, it's the Wizard of Oz with pew pews, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Dorothy got whisked away to Oz <laughs> with a scar L in her hands. <laughs> you guys have to check this out. Eric Weathers is doing some great work with this. He does have a tier where um, the custom printing will be randomized for every one of the covers. And I forget what he calls that tier. Let's see, maybe I can look here. That tier, I believe, is the cover SE. And the way that it is done is that every time it's printed, the computer will randomize how all those shapes and everything are put together. So you will actually get your own very individual cover. Uh, that nobody else has out there. So as long as it goes the ways that he wants to, and I just think that's absolutely fantastic and completely uh, uh, creative. I mean, who else is, is giving you your own personal customized cover? With all of that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for being here. I am doing my absolute best to keep up with all of the news of the week and the things that are happening in uh, the indie space and the Iron Age space more specifically. If you guys like what I'm doing here, I apologize for being a little bit low T tonight. I'm kind of tired. It's It's been a long day. But if you guys like what I'm doing here, please, please, please do me that massive, massive favor. Click that share button and share this video in all of the places where you think indie fans want to, well, where you think indie fans are going to be. Good Lord, I'm tired. I should just give up tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and maybe that's what I'll do, but I can't give up quite yet because I have to say until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video, and I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.